Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this picker card for the week ahead. So there's a couple of ways that you can pick your pile. You can just go with the numbers, the picture, whatever just appeals to you. Or I was guided this week to give you a little bit of a tutorial to look at your draconic chart. That is the expression of your emotional layer. So looking at your sun in the draconic chart. I'm going to have a tutorial for this. So if you're interested, you can look at this and look at the element of that sun placement according to that emotional layer and expression of yourself. I don't know yet what's ahead, but it seems that emotions are <laughs> of the essence. We're going to look at the tutorial and you're going to be able to pick the element of that zodiac sign. All right, let's get started. Tutorial on astrodienst.com. You see it here and look at the draconic chart of this person. So you would go into the options of free horoscopes horoscope drawings and data and then click on extended chart it will lead you here and then you would have your birth data entered now when you look at this when you look at the zodiac and houses this is where you have different systems the draconitic is the draconic chart so you would click on this and it connected to the lunar node zero degrees in area so it takes your natal chart and it puts it all in accordance to zero degree Aries, so the lunar node there. You would click show the chart, and there we have it. This person is now a Virgo, and you can see that originally 29th, October 29th would be Scorpio, beginning of Scorpio. So this person emotionally, they have their son in Virgo. So they would watch if that's something that you know, um, intrigues you, this person would watch the earth element for this week ahead. All right, let's get those messages. Pile number one or the fire element. So if you looked into the draconic chart, maybe you have a sun that could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Not talking about your natal chart, but your draconic chart, if that is triggering some curiosity within you. So you picked the element pile that speaks of signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. With the warrior card, so this is a deck that speaks of, you know, um, palm tree and whatever could be in your hand. So it would be an area of your palm that has an upraised pat of flesh, generally the mercury finger side. Okay, so towards this area of your hand. I don't, yeah, I don't feel mine is predominant, but it's there. But that could be a sign for you if you want to play with this little nudge, but it is talking about discipline, um, self-improvement, fighting for your truth and what you stand for. And it seems that this week, there's some synchronicities that you want to pay attention to that are nudging you in the direction of something that is, I don't know why I'm hearing, of the essence. It seems that there's something important coming for you, fire element. The mystical shaman and the middle world. This is a place where you bring heaven on earth. And this is a card that speaks of storytelling. And it's together inviting you to make sure that you tell a story of what has been and what could be and bring it in the now. 
because doors are opening. Synchronistic doors are opening for you this week with this pile, with this element. Okay, let's see more details about this. This sounds exciting. All right. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, this is the week ahead. All right. We have hostilities. This is interesting with the warrior energy. Hmm. I'm feeling guided to put it under the storyteller, the shaman. The one that tells the tale of their battles, what they've overcome. Is your story from your past the one of a hero, the one of a warrior, the one that prevails no matter what they had to endure? Make sure that you found power this week in your experiences the sun it came in the reverse and i feel because there's something that needs to be illuminated and maybe this is why i was guided with especially the sun invitation but here in the emotions there might be something about really looking at how your emotion emotional layer your emotional world got affected and also maybe developed there might be some emotional resilience that you need to realize that your experience gave you this week i feel this is what is coming to the light to you as you may be invited to use some of those skills of self-discipline continuing on you know, going after your dreams, after what matters to you. Community. I would say here that some of you, let me back you up a little bit, up. Some of you, there could be something about, I don't know why, but I'm going to say it, a product. I feel that maybe some of you, there's something that you're wanting to offer to others. And maybe there's a launching date. This week looks very promising for you to connect with others in terms of what you have to offer. Whatever you've uh, had to overcome that is going to be supportive to others and the only thing that I can see could block you is maybe how you still feel about that path in the way you tell your story. It's a very, it's a very important step if you're launching something new, whether you're starting something new, you're, whether it's in the creative part or it's in the launching part, but when you're in that uh, motion towards aligning with your dreams, Make sure that the story that helps you relate to others, it's really what you've developed through those hardships, through those challenges, that is your true offer. And it's not so much just the tools, it's also the vibration it gave you. The way it promoted a certain emotional resilience but also relatable energy to others the ones that are meant to join you to be on that same level with you interesting i feel this is um this is interesting it's like it's almost like the theme this is feels like the beginning of the week this feels already as you're progressing in this energy uh, as you're doing this inner work, there's something that is growing, has been growing, a desire, the temple path. Wow. Just, I, I want you to know, pile number one or 
fire element of a draconic sun, okay? That this path that you've endured, this path that made you who you are, it gives you a special glow, a special connection to spirit, maybe even a capacity for others to relate to you, to feel the preciousness of what you have had to develop for yourself and that you're going to be ready to offer to others. Now, this card can be reversed just like the sun with the journey card. Okay? I feel that you allowing the past not to define you in terms of like repetition of the same struggle and same cycle, but the past to empower you, to have given you wisdom, to have given you emotional, spiritual, intellectual, even sen like senses, intelligence, like intelligence of feeling the world around you and being able to become very acutely connected to your senses and what maybe the world and others need. It's through your journey and it's a journey. It does not matter, like the destination is not what matters most. We're going towards the same destination <laughs> as far as the material plane. Um, but in terms of how you, how well can you travel this journey? This seems to be of importance because you have a lot to offer this week to yourself through the re, you know, retelling of this story in a greater way, in a greater sense, but also to others. Now, you guys know I like to use uh, frequencies to help with this energy work, if you're feeling locked, especially in bringing light into this, you might want to make sure also that you're connected to your chart, that you know if there's specific returns of planet, certain alignments. By the way, I do have still until the end of January, a promotion for reading birth chart, and I do offer draconic charts, if that's something that interests you will help you connect to the emotional version of yourself. I usually like to compare it to your physical self. All right, let's see what can help you in terms of frequencies, sound engineering. Okay, so that's for the YouTube members. I'm going to put it aside and give you another one. I will name it as well. Some of you, if you are YouTube premium members, if you're paying to skip the ads, you have a one month uh, offered um, to join my channel and my subscriptions where you'll have additional frequencies, but also additional um, planets, transits and reading according to uh, your birth chart. So if you like to dive, deep dive a little bit more. Okay, ending energy and desire entanglement. It could be some energies from the past that still lock you. Maybe I would say, especially with this one, it's usually connected to relationships. Like imagine, let me tell you, and especially with this storytelling here. Imagine you were in a relationship and you projected yourself in the future, okay? You projected yourself to maybe build a family, have kids, have this job, live in this place, this whole pathway, timeline, okay? And then things end. There's sometimes, energetically, still some entanglement to what you created, especially with others. So when you're projecting yourself in a relationship, with others that also were like, well, we'll send our kids to this school and we'll do this there. And, and this is a frequency that helps you end this conditioning. 
end some of those stories where maybe some of you like you, you expected yourself to be living in a certain place living in a certain house or city whatever with a certain job and things change part of the journey part of building your emotional intelligence resilience spiritual intelligence as well you want to work with this it will help you remove some of those negative conditionings and i say negative because it's just a conditioning that now no longer serves you if you are a youtube member of the music level the level up the nervous system regeneration that could be helpful for some of you maybe just to slow down a little bit of your fight or flight um, past reaction to maybe having a path that was not easy to transmute, to overcome. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number one and the fire element. This sounds really like an exciting beginning of the week of something that is so much greater that almost like puts you in the spotlight. Like you're the brand, you're the service, you're the one that with all that you've gone through is going to be of service. And that's going to be just a wonderful experience, I feel. So let me know if that resonated with you. Give it a thumbs up. It supports the channel to grow. And if you need support, you can look at the description box in the video. Thank you. Namaste. Pile number two or the air element, especially connected to your draconic chart and sun placement, if that's what you decided to go with. We have first the message of no limitations. You are a celestial being with unlimited potential. There is so much for you to share. This is for the week ahead and this is timeless. So whenever you're watching this, the week that's coming up, this is for you. And you have the negotiator with a mercury energy, the mercury finger, and here, it could be like there's an area of your palm upraised, especially under the pinky finger. And this is very much about communication skills. This is very much about understanding human nature. Being also good at marketing, uh, selling products, making deals, being kind of, you know, good with bridging the gap between situations or also from a place where you are and where you want to be. This together, and this is interesting, if you hesitated with pile one, you might want to take a look at it because um, there's a sense here of a new beginning of something that you're starting. And for you, I would say here, pile number two with this air quality, it seems that uh, there's, there's, there's an invitation this week to make sure you don't limit yourself. Don't sell yourself short. There's just so much that seems to be wanting to be shared. Okay, let's see what we have. The spiral. And the jaguar. This is interesting because from this combination here, and especially with the full moon energy, as I'm channeling this, there is a full moon that's upcoming. So maybe you're very connected to cycles, to the moon. I'm going to mention it, even though some of you might not even know about this, or maybe you'll be inclined to research it. In the human design, there is a type of energy that is manifested that is much more connected to the moon cycle, the projector. It could be that you're someone that has an ability to observe what is needed and provided it. And being like a middle person between... Um, um, the demand, you know, and the public. Wow, I did not expect so much <laughs> business-oriented um, 
energy coming up this week, but it seems that there's a desire to put the potential of what you have to offer, especially I'm channeling this, again, it's going to be timeless, but I'm channeling this in a year cycle eight. So there's a lot of manifestation of abundance of the desires. And it seems that you're starting a cycle of having the ability to see what others don't see. Okay? Let's go further in that message. What do we have for pile number two for this week ahead? The air element, draconic sun, if that's what they chose. Okay. Financial constraint. Mm. Maybe you're coming from a place, especially with this cycle. Maybe you're coming out of a place where you were feeling limited in your finances. But remember, you have this no limitation, the negotiator, someone that can see what needs to be provided, someone that can see maybe through the shadows, maybe helping. Some of you, if you are healers, maybe you're helping with shadow work, okay? Uh, but it seems that there is some type of ending with this energy. This is more like the, the, like the, um, the theme and here the beginning of that motion, almost like the beginning of the week. Whoa, holy moly, if I told you that cornucopia you're going from wow this this would be like almost i'm sorry <laughs> i gotta position myself a lot better here whoa like let me get seated for a second what it's almost like finding you found like how to hack a system like you know it's like you found the the way to make it big or you know you found your niche or you found finally something that was needed and that's going to serve others because with that negotiation it's like there is a need for it and people want it there's a want and a need and you're going to be in the middle could be also here i'm feeling called to mention it with all this light all this abundance some of you it's like you're helping people come out of their darkness or their wounds or dealing with their trauma and making it gold. What I like to call this actually turning your scars into stars. There's something here because you're ending a cycle. I'm just remembering right now a reel that I had on Instagram that said this quote that I just mentioned. There is this woman that was dancing with this dress caught on fire. And that was this energy. It's almost like you're burning away all the old bridges that made you feel constrained. All the old uh, ties from the past, from the past cycles. And you're entering something new. Wow. Jeez. That feels huge. That's like a really drastic... Maybe some of you are just going to see like it's like you barely could pay your bills and now you're like, okay, I can just go and invest. <laughs> it's like, what? <gasps> Whoa. Door to that. I'm like, <laughs> you see me shuffle. I don't know what's going on <laughs> with you. Uh, air elemental pile number two. But what I feel is that you're discovering, you're discovering the abundance and value of what you have learned so far. So everything that you've gone through, everything that you've studied, everything that uh, cost you like sweat, blood and tears, and you know, it, it's, it's coming to open up new doors of value, but value, especially with this, the flowers here and the nature that I'm feeling, it's like, I feel more of like, emotionally satisfied feeling emotionally happy 
from that position of being in the middle. So some of you, again, if you're healers, maybe you're like a psychic, you're a medium, you're in between, uh, you know, a place helping people also build fortune. Some of you could be business coaches or things like that. And um, you're definitely finding uh, as you're going through this week, just a different version of how you relate to yourself and your product and what you have to offer. Okay. And again, if you don't have your own business, that could be just how you shine at work, how you shine at what you do. And even if you were just like, let's say you're unemployed or you're just a housewife or that, that stays at home, doesn't matter. It's like the way you're taking your role, the way you're invested in everything that you do even to the little details, it's like your embodiment seems to bring this, okay? Well, I mean, I can't with you. I can't. I can't. Blossoming abundance. So this is coming from this energy. It's almost like if you're doubting that this cycle that you're entering, you're going to get some signs. You're going to start seeing uh, seeds and signs and synchronicities that are going to align. I would say, especially ones and threes. Oh my Lord, 13, 11, 31, three. What? So repetition of threes, repetition of ones, okay? And I love this, wow. Pile number two, I have, I don't think I've seen something also like so, so majestic almost. There's, th this week, you're going to grow into so much more self-love for your journey from the past struggle. Like here, there's like a, a little notification. Maybe they were going to get noticed. You're going to get promoted. Or you're going to receive a specific email or happen to find a specific email, a specific offer that's going to help you channel all of this. Now, you guys know that in case we get stuck, because sometimes our mind <laughs> play against our, ourselves. Um, and let's see if we have some frequencies here that can help you stay in attunement and in alignment with this beautiful message for this upcoming week. All right, what do we have here? Okay. All right, so this is for the YouTube members. Oh, wow. That relates a lot to pile number one. So some of you, if you want to watch pile number one, or maybe you, you, you had like an hesitance between the pile, um, go and check it out because we have the same, some energy with the warrior. Healing the spiritual warrior. That's part of the super empath playlist. And that is so effective to help you change. You know, follow what... Um, what new habits and new things that you've learned and being comfortable with that new version of yourself. And for the ones that have access to the YouTube membership level up, by the way, if you are a YouTube premium and you're able to skip the ads, you can get a free month uh, to my membership. So inner child sovereignty. I love this one. The one when I created this, I felt so much joy. I felt like I was able to parent myself. I was feeling that I was able to receive all the support, all the encouragement that I had not received for all that I have learned and all that I had transcended and transmuted, especially all this shadow energy. So that's what I have for you, pile number two or the air element, especially to the draconic sun a sign. By the way, if that's something that intrigue you, I still have until the end of January promotions on birth chart. And I do offer a reading for draconic chart. So the emotional expression and layer of your aura, how does it play out? And I like to relate it to your natal chart. So how the physical and emotion play together. All right, that's what I have for you. Thank you so very much. Remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps and supports the channel to grow. <laughs> Thank you. Namaste. Pile number three or the earth element according to your draconic sun sign. If you wanted to play a little bit with this expression of your natal chart. 
You have the card here that says patience. Be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace. Then you have the prophet. I like this so much, so much. And it speaks of the moon star. So you may have a certain star shape at this part of your hand. And if not, this is an energy message that um, really speaks of you, especially this week. And this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're watching this, this is for the upcoming week. This is about developing psychic clairs your intuition, maybe even some uh, paranormal experiences and profound insight that are going to come this week. But it's showing with the patience that you're in this receptive mode. So be, with, be comfortable with this energy that's almost like you're channeling. Let's see what those cards have for you. Whoa. The staff and the witness. I don't know if you're feeling what I'm feeling. Maybe you are. But when I'm seeing a staff energy and then this witness, I'm feeling um, Moses. I'm feeling Christ consciousness. I'm feeling that, that, um, that person between earth and heaven. I'm feeling this person being able to channel energy, power to ground on earth. But with the witness, you're witnessing this process occurring within yourself. And you need to give it space. So let's see what we have. I feel that maybe there's something about creating more space for it. You know, with this earth element association maybe decluttering would be a good idea okay let's see what do we need to know for the earth element especially connected to the draconic sun placement or just pile number three okay envy in the reverse You know what I'm receiving is so interesting. If you've been in a phase where you've been comparing yourself, uh, where you're at in your life and where you think you should be, this energy, especially with the staff here, I'm feeling like this week is really going to want to show you how the true power, the true gold is within yourself. And the events that are going to occur are meant for you to start witnessing this, to start harnessing this potential. You're going to want to make sure that you're not looking outside too much, especially with the patience in terms of pace. Don't let yourself... I'm going to share this because we've had so far a lot of messages about career business this week that I'm really like surprised but I feel this is I'm channeling this in a year eight there's an inclination for materialization of abundance having this 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 finite result product that comes through from our spiritual abundance and I feel that I want you to know not to let yourself be almost like baited to go faster than the process you're into. So watch not falling into uh, maybe courses or following people's guidance that tell you like, you can manifest this like in five days. Or, you know, you get, uh, you know, from 10K to 100K in a month. Not that it's not possible, but what you're about to receive is something that is yours. And something that's very unique. And that has no price on it. Because it's not something that you're going to buy from others. Not that there's anything wrong with being helped and getting support. And I love personal, um, you know, self-development. 
I had a phase in my life where I invested so much into it and I continue doing this so when I'm feeling called to it. But at the beginning, I was all, I was just ingesting a lot of knowledge. And ultimately, it all served. But when I start sitting with myself more, having my spiritual awakening, my kundalini awakening, okay, I started seeing my gold, my potential. And this is where you're at, pile number three, or the earth element, especially with the emotional. So you're like, you, it's about to bloom. And it's like almost telling you, like, like don't overwater it, don't over uh, shine on it, or don't, you know, or, or, or just don't ignore it. It's there. It's blossoming. Witness it. Witness your own blossoming. Angel of balance in the reverse. There could have been some imbalances in terms of your yin and yang, okay? Maybe too much mind versus heart. That's a very important factor in terms of alchemy. I usually channel the frequency prescription, you know, the vibrational medicine at the end, but I really feel I want something here. But let's see if we can have a prescription for the energy that it's almost like at the beginning of the week and you will see how everything evolves. That's like a theme. Let's see here. Because it's 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 like it's in you. It's a prophecy. Oh my god, I just remembered. I just watched this old reel of mine that speaks of awakening the prophecy within your cells. I watched a couple that were around the same theme and I was like, why am I watching this? And it was just mesmerizing. But you have to witness it. You have to stick with it. You have to stay with it. All right. All right. So we have soul fragments retrieval. I wouldn't be surprised that maybe some past experiences separated you from you know, um, your potential. And I, I'm go there was a couple of cards and I feel like I want to add this. Um, so as healing and even the last one, there were three and I put them back, but it, it just feels in alignment, prevent psychic manipulation. Why am I especially feeling called? Because I felt that, um, I don't want you to fall into, uh, the temptation of shortcuts, not with this energy. There's just so much that I can feel underneath that's yours, not anyone else's. Don't let anyone, especially this week, sell you on the story that you don't have what it takes and that you're missing something. You have something that you need to retrieve. So maybe an awareness, maybe something so, so has frequency healing, something that is connected to the womb. So that could be a mother womb, a uh, wound, sorry. <laughs> um, that could be maybe an influence of a mother figure. Okay, I'm going to put this aside, but I really felt I wanted this type of prescription because those two reversals, we needed to shift this and harness the fact that we don't need to look outside of ourselves. That gold and that purpose, that abundance is growing, is blooming. And when we're in balance, it actually has the proper soil, the proper elements to grow. Okay? Being overly mind or overly uh, hard, that means too much yin or too much yang, it needs balance. It needs, like the pH of the soil needs to be neutral. It can be too acidic or too alkaline. Okay, I'm going deep into the earth with <laughs> the earth element here. All right, pile number three. Let's see how we're evolving. Now that we have all those keys, those vibrational attunement. Oh my God, patience, double, double your patience. Do you, but you know what? Again, I feel that part of you waiting is going to feel so rewarding if you don't rush that process. 
Can we have more details about this? I feel this is here. Caring connections. Okay. This is interesting because, okay, I feel that if in the past, maybe you had some, especially that comes from the super empath, maybe you were in dynamics that were taking advantage of you. I felt a lot of watch not to be tempted by shortcuts. So maybe there's, you know, um, attractions as an empath towards uh, narcissistic personalities. Here, it's almost like showing me. Watch as you let yourself take a seat back this week. Watch how your relationship dynamics shift into more caring, loving expression. And that's going to be a clue for you that things are aligning to the frequency of that momentum forward. You need to make sure you're in that frequency. And that's going to be given to you as you allow yourself to sit with more self-love, self-acceptance, um, self-inquiry. Maybe some of you looking inside of yourself, you know, looking at the things that you've learned and make it something that has more potential than you thought that it had, okay? Because I feel that you have to understand that the vibration of this process where you're being patient with, with yourself is what others are looking for. And that's going to be an attractive point for them. Booyah, okay? Now, this was the last card of pile number two. I would say, if you're able to wait for this process and tap into this frequency of love and care for yourself and noticing that it comes back to you through others, then you're moving on to the message of pile number two. And that is a very drastic momentum shift. But you need to make sure that you have retrieved your power, that you have healed some of the way, especially with the psoas where you have the womb uh, and where it puts all your energy in motion and creation, that you're not recreating connection based on the same patterns that were putting you uh, maybe more into rushing. You know, people that are trying to rush the process. You're someone that knows how to harness power because you believe that you're a channel for source energy. A part of you is God, God is self, okay? And that appreciation of this alignment, you standing in your power, not letting others manipulate what you feel needs to be done right now, is going to really reap great rewards, okay? That's what I have for you, pile number three, earth element. If you need support and guidance, you can check my offers. I do have promotions until the end of January for reading your draconic chart and all different types of birth charts. And please, if it supported you, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how it resonated in the comments. I would love to connect. Namaste. Pile number four or the water elements, especially if you looked at your draconic chart and your sun placement. If you are a sun in Pisces, Scorpio or Cancer, this message is for you, but also through your intuition with the water element or just the number four. It says here, courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Okay. And then we have the sensitive soul. The water point personality. Do I have that? Of course I do. <laughs> point personality where you have those two lines that come together what do we have let me read this for you um, the personality point reveals your interesting temperament and manner of relating to others the four elements designate the psychological region within the universe that you're affiliated with 
Note the commencement point of the Compreation Chakra in relationship to the Corporal Chakra. So this is that connection. And as far as the energies, it says if your Compreation Chakra is connected to the Corporal Chakra, you possess a water point personality. This commencement point indicates that emotional sensitivity and family upbringing shape your views and approach to life. Now, in terms of energy, we have peaceful, devoted and nurturing, helpful, gentle and caring. It could be self-conscious and seeks acknowledgement and validation. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see what we have with this. Okay. The giveaway and the ghost dance, 22 and 23. I don't know why I feel called to look at the numbers. And I feel this has to do with family. If you were guided to pile number four, and if you have a draconic sun placement in water elements, zodiac placement, there's something about the past, your upbringing, maybe also as a strong, inclined, um, sensitive person, something that you have to shed. Let's look at what that is. I'm okay. It's very interesting. I really feel like I want a frequency card right now. Like, I feel like if you're watching this, this is timeless. Whenever you're watching this, this is for the upcoming week. I feel that uh, maybe you're guided here and it's because you're feeling something that is not in alignment. Like, you're like, what? I don't like what I'm feeling, okay? And I want to already give you something. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Small intestine frequency, allow, allowing joy and passion, but especially, let me put this here. If you have access to my YouTube membership, removing X's and X's, curses. Now, what is a curse, you guys? Yes, we, people associate to witchcraft and all those things, but let me explain to you energetically how that works, okay? With all my eighth house natal position and planets. I have a lot of experience with this. Um, when you rehearse a pattern of thought, of emotion, of action, physical habits, you're literally enter and when it feels negative, okay, you're creating this curse. You're creating this repetition, because it's engineered in ways that keeps on attracting more of it. It's like this wheel where you're like, where is my exit out, okay? And from what I'm feeling here is that this week, you're being called to not give up. Use the resilience that you hold at a soul level, because even though you're sensitive, you also have a very strong, resilient, endurant ability. And why do I say this? Because even from my personal experience, but to be able to carry so much as far as empathy, being in other people's shoes and, and a feeling all those things that surround you, it takes a lot of courage to tap into this. Naturally, all humans are empathetic, but naturally... I see an inclination that some people just will close those doors. And you, my friend, pile number four or water draconic sun, you are not doing this. And you're not doing this because there's something greater that comes from it. And we're going to channel this. So if you are a YouTube premium, that means you're paying for skipping the ads, you can have access to a free month to my memberships, okay? Okay. So let's see what we have. The small intestine is allowing you to feel more joy. And I feel that maybe there's something that you have to give away, something that you give back, a, a cycle that you need to end this week that is important. And your sensitivity is going to be important because this signals to you that there's something to release. Some of you, if you know my Instagram channel, I have like a, a reel that's over 2 million views. That is 
saying and stating. You need to release what needs to be released in order to receive what needs to be received. This is the week to release whatever it is that has been holding you back. Okay, door to value in the reverse. It seems that maybe from the family dynamic and maybe even the relationships that you're attracted that are very connected to what you have been accustomed to, there's not enough nurturing around your value. I don't like that. I don't like that for you because I can sense you have great value. How can I help? Seven chakra, Archangel Uria. Okay. In the reverse, connecting to source. So this is your connection to downloads, to receiving your purpose. So I feel like, okay, what I'm feeling here is that if you ever let yourself fall into uh, questioning, why did this happen to me and why this keeps on happening to me, you're blocking your crown. Because your crown, your everything that is happening is for you. And you're in a place right now that's very sensitive where you can finally shift from a place of things feeling like they're happening to you from for you. They're supporting you. It's a shift. You're going this week through a shift of perception. And it needs your attention. It needs your emotional resilience, your emotional intelligence, and also knowing that everything that you've gone through, you're able to survive. But not only this, make it something great. A lot of the other piles had a lot of initiation of something that was from that potential. So here, let's see how we can get more guidance to unlock that potential. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay. Too many. Uh, definitely here with the hostilities falling here, we're going to want to look at this. So let me go into my phone because I feel I need to read to you. In the small intestine, so what you would do in my, my YouTube channel, you have playlists, and this is the playlist of the 12 organs, okay? Your 12 organs, sound healing, and let's see in the small intestine. I feel that there's something there, and that's why I could not move on, okay? It says in terms of signs of imbalances, weighted down depression, mental fogging, confusion, indecision, lack of discernment. That blocks the freaking crown. Okay. So the signs of balance are love, joy, light, passion, enthusiasm, and serotonin boost. This helps your serotonin. Okay. Now that I, I feel, I feel better now that we said this and we're going to get more guidance. It, that's why if you haven't been able to find joy in your path, this will block you receiving what you need to receive. Because remember, that's what I felt for you. You need to release so you can receive. There is no more space for more of this. The universe wants to stop this momentum. Okay, nice. The thinking woman. Remember, there was something about discernment. Maybe some of you, there's something to discern, and I don't know why, but I'm feeling a relationship. So some of you, okay. I do have on my Telegram. You'll find it in the description box. You'll find my Telegram page if you have Telegram. This is where I post a lot of articles. I do have a lot of articles that were about childhood, trauma and certain habits that we take and that make you feel that it's a part of you. That means that 
for example, r feeling rushed or feeling dissociated or being a certain type of person and, and people around you and your family is like, well, well, you are like this. So of course this would happen to you. You know, when people kind of like from the outside start to label you as this, but there's something that I feel you need to realize that especially when those people are the one telling you what you are and label you, they're blocking all this value, but there is here a dynamic, there's a trauma, there is something you adopted from the family that has been limiting you. And we are going to give this away to source. Because see, you're going, that source, source is calling it back. Doesn't want it for you anymore. Okay? Wow, the thinking man. I feel that some of you, you might uh, get certain guidance from someone. Maybe you're going to watch, maybe that's part, this reading is part of it. Uh, you're reading an article, you're watching a video, go and inquire. Maybe some of you, you need to learn about narcissism. Maybe some of you, I don't know why I'm, I'm sharing this. I feel it's also on my Telegram page about imposter syndrome. Some parents, they build you up and at the same time that in a way that makes you feel like you're going to fail no matter what. It's all those things. It feels like you're Super sensitivity. Once you know about this, you're not going to release a little bit. You're going to release a lot. A lot that was in the way of this value. Making something like that's turning it in just so much gold. Wow. But there's discernment that needs to come forward for you action in the reverse. So I would say this week, don't rush your actions, study. You have double thinking hats here. Go and study. Study uh, techniques, maybe it depends. Some of you, it might be techniques to release stress or release tension. Let's see if there's another frequency for this. Um, but this is not a week to act. Because the divine is going to take care of this. It's going to take care of this as you start being proactive in your own uh, reflection. Okay, there's, especially with a lot of that emotional water and, and past and things that are recurring and happening again and again. There's something that needs to click this week. Let's see what we have. Wow, I love this. Of course, your subconscious mind. So you can do your research. Okay, at night, use this, your subconscious mind. I love this. This is uh, an engineering that I created based off the movie Inception. This goes deep, deep, deep in the layers of your subconscious so you can get to the bottom of those things. So that's what I have for you. If you need personal guidance this week, I have a lot of offers. You can see them in the description box. Otherwise, Please remember to like those videos. It supported you. And I'm sending you many blessings and much love and light your way. Namaste.